I just wanted to be sure there was nothing too stupid in the backgrounds, unlike the ring of... So, there's a story behind this. My little brother got me... There's mul- there's multiple layers to this story. So, the first funny thing is me and my little brother got each other the exact same gift for Christmas without talking to each other. Like, we didn't we didn't converse on it, but we got we got each other... A hat from uh, one of our favorite bands. Just, but, but so that was funny. But it it didn't get here in time. So he was like, "This is the placeholder gift," and he got me like a like thirty. You know those. You know the little wood. Hold on, I can just grab them. <laughs> one of these guys. It's like the little wooden snakes. Ah, uh, yes, yes. So he, he, I got like 30 of these, and I didn't know what to do with them, so I put them around my door. All right. Yeah, I didn't know what that was until you showed me, so I'm glad that you said it. <laughs> That's about all the interesting constant I ha- content I have for you today, Daniel. This is the Experience Podcast with me and someone else. Ariana! It's me. The, the, <laughs> the return of everyone's favorite guest of the... How, how many listeners on average do you get per podcast, Daniel? Do you uh, have- it fluctuates. It fluctuates. Um, viewership has gone up recently. Particularly at, in YouTube, I don't know why. Sure. So, <laughs> so, do I need to like keep in mind that, or, like, who's who's listening to my podcast? Episode? Everyone. Your no, podcast. Everyone or? in the world. <laughs> yeah, my podcast. This is, I'm I'm hijacking. I'm taking over. <laughs> this is the experience Everyone's. podcast with me and someone else. Oh, no. <laughs> I, mean, I guess I can also look it up on YouTube. What if one day you did that, Daniel? Instead of you, it was like someone else. I've I've pitched spinoff series and they've all been shot down um, <sighs> for various reasons. Oh. Um, what, including what, what, I think. Uh, well, we all know. I think I pitched a Chandler Dan Josh spinoff, and that that got nowhere. <laughs> I would, I would love that personally. <laughs> Although I don't think Dan wants to do it anymore. Yeah, that's. Was, that's Dan cool. had the one big hit with old women with sticks, and then he was like, "I'm done. I'm retired." Yeah. Four I, years I, ago, I Dan. Not do this again. The what? Four years ago, Dan thought he had a good episode, and now he can't ever do it again. It's not thought he had a good episode. He did have a good episode. That is the yeah, okay. best episode of this podcast. Sure, that's that's what you guys are saying. Explain. Why did he talk about old women? Old women was essentially Dan took forty five minutes to tell a ninety second story. And it was very funny. <laughs> and by very funny I mean only funny to me because I was there. Okay. And it was about old women with sticks. That, no, that that's not even like the main story. That's like the third, like, tangential sub-story within the main story, which is that he found a used condom. I guess I'm re- revealing the punchline. He found a used condom by the hammocks. Mm-hmm. And that was, like, that, was the, that was, like, the end of the story. Lovely. But, like, the, the journey is really the point. Mm. Of course. As always. Yeah. It was a lot. It was a lot. Um, it's episode, like, 30-something, I think, so... I hope all of the episodes with me and Peter Tilly never made it to air. Because I can't find them. What do you mean you can't find them? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I think there was one that we recorded, like, in the library or something. And, I, I, and I've and i looked for it because I was like, I don't remember what we talked about. And I can't find it. I, granted, I haven't looked that hard. You have to look 
Um, I could find it eventually, but uh, yeah, that would take a bit of it's, sleuthing. It's not that big of a deal. Daniel, it's been a long time. How are you? Um, well, and I, I say this often on the podcast when Ariana's not here, so I'll say it while she is. Mm. Um, every time I ask Ariana to come on, she's traveling the world or doing some other crazy thing. Where are you um, going? I'm at my parents' house. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's also part of the world. Well, she's been to, what was it? Let's England. See. It was Alaska. Then it was, uh, what was the other one? What was the most recent one? England. England. For a research conference. <laughs> hey, there are all these research things that, uh. <laughs> I mean, England's pretty cool. Atlanta. Um, Miles. That's like three places. That's, Wait that's all the places she is when I ask her to do the podcast. So. Yeah. So last time I was at home with my parents, busy. Before that, I was in England. Before that, I had a lot of work to do. <laughs> but it was a last minute. That one was last minute, like 30 minutes before your podcast. You know, people cancel at the last minute. That might have been the time Chandler canceled. So probably you said I, I, I've it. been pretty consistent recently. <laughs> you say oh. had a last minute cancellation. So I don't know if it was Chandler or not. <laughs> the last minute oh, cancellation. The last last minute cancellation that I had was in November. Was it like November thirteenth when I yes. asked Ariana to come on? Yes, that is that it because because well I thought I was going to go pick up a free couch, but circumstances happened and I didn't get the free couch and I missed the podcast. But past that, I've been pretty good about it. And and another time, this is on the same level. You asked if I could and I said no because I what was I doing? I remember you this. Didn't want to. No, I had, uh, I was doing things. Yeah, that was, that was like Christmas week, which I was very busy. Yeah, why are people busy on Christmas week? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I have, <laughs> I got family to see. Yeah. Who did, who did come on that week? Christmas week? Like before Christmas or after Christmas? You asked it, was, it was December 26th is when you messaged me. And you messaged me December 27th. <laughs> I'm glad to see where the priorities lie. <laughs> who, who, who's the better guest? Um, Apparently you like see. Taylor more than me because you asked him first. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a list. It's a real t- I go to the bottom of whoever I asked most recently. Um, I don't know. I guess it was this episode. What was this episode? Can't play. I'm not gonna play it. Um, You're lucky I made it to this one because I forgot until you texted me. Same. Yeah, I completely forgot until. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. I, what? What is there a better system? Let's discuss this on air. What's the better system to to to, to um, uh, do this? Maybe 24 hours before. Are you still good for tomorrow? I think that's a good. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. I also just like I need to remember to put it in my calendar because if it's not in the calendar, I don't remember it's happening. I agree. Yeah, like I, I assume when I ask you initially and you agree, you guys are adults, most of you. <laughs> I usually um, am. I just forgot this time. Yeah. You're adults and you can remember to meet an appointment time, but if well, needed, I can send a reminder text. You don't you don't have to, but it would be nice just in case I did in fact forget to put it on the calendar, like many things. Yeah, agreed. I didn't well, make any plans at this time. I just thought that I would make dinner at this time, so I'm just eating dinner later for you. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm disrupting everyone's lives. I, I would be cooking right now if I didn't have uh, takeout leftovers. But you know what, Daniel? I'm telling you that you're more important than my dinner time, okay? So I, As I should be. Um, <laughs> Chandler, what's on the menu? Well, what did I just eat? I, I already ate it. It was um, 
Yeah. Lemongrass chicken from Kuroshiro, which is not anywhere near where either of you guys live, but it's pretty. Yeah, it's, it was pretty good. Yeah. I also worked out beforehand, so it was like it's like yeah, I got protein. I guess I don't know. It, it always feels nice Flex. to have dinner okay. after you exercise, or at least for me. Sounds yummy. What about you, Dana? What have you, what, what what food have you been consuming recently? <laughs> um, did I eat? I got breakfast. That's, That's healthy. That's food. We went out for breakfast this morning. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. So. You had the day off. No. You did not have the day off. Oh. I also did not have a day off. Oh. I wor- well. Um, well, to, to, I worked last night, so I got off in the morning, and then we went to breakfast after work. Do you Mm. get, wait, so you did get the day off today? Uh, sure, but uh, by coincidence. I don't get holidays. You don't get federal Um, holidays? You don't get any holidays? Well, I guess I get paid, but, like, it doesn't affect my schedule. I work a rotating schedule. But they don't, like, give you off on federal holidays? How are they going to give everyone at the site off? They're just going to shut down the plant for a day? <laughs> that's a that, good I know that's how that works. <laughs> and even if you shut down the plant, you still need people there. Like <laughs> That's a good point. Do you get, like... Gonna lock the door? But you don't get, like, some... Like, there's no rotation? Can you request off? Okay, let me, let me, I'll answer all questions, but one at a time, folks, okay? <laughs> I get, I work a rotating schedule, it's like a five-week rotation, okay? It doesn't matter what day of the week, whether it's an important holiday, a not important holiday, and everything in between, okay? That's, I work whatever day I'm normally scheduled for. You get paid for the holiday, you get your holiday pay. Um, okay. Just like any other Civilian. Um, what was the other question? Um, oh, you, can you trade whatever? Like, not, I mean, not really. You get vacation, so you can take vacation on holidays, I guess. So it's uh, like it's not like PTO. You, you can just kind of decide, like, oh, I'm gonna not work these days. But it has to be like in advance. Well, well it's a little more complicated. So it is a holiday, so it wouldn't count toward your vacation allotment. Right, because you're basically like it's basically overtime. If you're working a holiday, it's overtime. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so you would you just be refusing all all the overtime. Um, but also you, I can't just take vacation whenever I want because it's got to get approved, and then they I need to find coverage because Mm -hmm. if I'm not working, someone else needs to work in my spot. So, for instance, like New Year's Day, I had to work because it's not easy to find someone who would want to work that. Yeah. That's fair. also New Year's Day was not a holiday this year. Because it was Sunday. Right. It, was, Sunday. it was on a Sunday. So technically so it wasn't even January second that people got Yeah. It. Yeah. But you did I, I, Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, I worked January second too. Um all right, does that answer everyone's question? Any other questions? Uh, yes, it does. The, it's up the interview is complete. Okay. <laughs> I want to know how many times you've explained your work schedule on this podcast. Probably every podcast episode. <laughs> over the schedule. It's so and, confusing. And, and I have how the same like fifteen five people. Off? How many like what? Five, five off. No, it's a whole thing. I mean, I could pull. <laughs> it's more complicated than that. We want to know exactly like, that you're working. I mean, I can pull up my schedule. I could share my screen if I know. If I can. Sh- let's see. Give us all your personal information. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do Let me see if I can do that. I, 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 was my... call. I was on a work call with um, uh, someone who's leaving my company in a couple weeks, um, and she's moving to Seattle. She accidentally flashed her passport on screen because she was, like, doing travel things. <laughs> I was like, I didn't see it. I don't. I don't. <laughs> yeah, let me close out of all my tabs. Oh. I'm kidding. I, uh, let's see. Oh, it's slow. I just have an Excel sheet, but 
or I guess it's a Google it's Sheets. It's still spreadsheet to track when you yeah. work. Well, for my calendar. Um, yeah. You'll see why. Um, I could use Google Calendar. That might just be, I might just switch to that. But this is easy because I can, well, because I can, this is pretty easy to share with other people. I guess with, with Google Calendar, you have to like fully share it. You know what I mean? Yeah, Google Calendar. It's like good my for parents, me. I don't need my parents to add my schedule to their calendar. Yeah. You know, but mm-hmm. with this spreadsheet, they can just open it and see if I'm working that day. Because they love calling when I'm at work. <laughs> okay, so let me share the screen. I think I've closed out all the illegal tabs that I had open. Mm-hmm. Um, Dark web. I guess I can only share my entire screen. All right. All right, so for our listeners, you can't mm-hmm. see anything. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so let me go to today. What does D mean? So I'm going to, okay, again, please save all questions for the end. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) All right. This is the Daniel schedule episode. Yeah, so the D, the big D, (laughs) means days. That's when I'm working days. There's a key over here. Okay. It's a little legend. Oh. Okay, so the D means days. I was working days. And then you get, so in this case, um, it's complicated because I work so much. Cause, okay. And then N means nights. And then T is a training week. So we go to training. And that's like okay. you go sit in a classroom and then you take a test at the, on Friday. Um, so, so it, so you, you get, okay, but that's like, that has overtime in there. So O slash whatever means an overtime day. Mm. Okay. It's vacation. Is a V. Okay. Anyway, so this is, that's like, let me go to like a normal, because that has overtime there. So for instance, this week, I have off these next three days, then I'm working three days, mm-hmm. and two days off, then a week of training, then two days off, then three nights, and then three days off, and then four days, and then you get seven days off. Thank then you. Work four ni- and then you work four nights, and then it starts back over. Right, so five week rotation, it's the same thing, it just keeps repeating forever. Um, but then obviously like sometimes you don't get those seven days because they need people to cover overtime. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So, Wait, can you scroll um, over to those the legend again so I can see how long these yeah. hours are? Yeah, well they're twelve hour shifts. 12 hours. Um training is like a ten hour thing. That's so. rough. And it, it 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 averages out to about like a little over forty hours a week without overtime. Like just a normal rotation. Mm, so like yeah. This month mm-hmm. is about 40 hours because obviously you're working 12, but then you get more days off, mm-hmm. full days off in a row. How do you manage your sleep schedule if you're going from days to nights back and forth? Great question. Um, any other questions <laughs> before I <laughs> – do, do I need to keep sharing or are we good? We're good. I, think, I think that's fine. You don't have to risk giving us your personal information. Alright, let me log Wait, in. Are you on a Chromebook? I'm on a Chromebook. You're on a, why do you have a Chromebook? <laughs> Sorry, um, that's too insulting. Chandler, we all can't afford the the fancy dinners that you go to. <laughs> I'm sure you're making bank. <laughs> I have okay. had this computer since I was in high school, and I got it for half off at Best Buy. I, yeah, this computer, I think I got. Um, for a good for a discount, and it's really more like a tablet, so I use it for like yeah. travel. Yeah. Like it's only, I think it's like ten inches, like it's a ten inch screen, mm-hmm. um, and it works better. It's not loud like my old laptop um, is when I record these things, so that's why. Nice. And the, the camera's better and all that. Anyway, so um, I really only use it for this, and then like travel stuff because it's like it's got all the detachable. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, the sleep thing. Mm-hmm. Great question. How would you manage? So days to nights, most people have an easier time with than nights to days. Mm-hmm. Right, because with days to nights, you just kind of you, you just stay up, I guess. Sure. Nights to days, you have to, like, 
that, that I, I mean, I, I don't know. I, 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 people have different, uh, like, thoughts about when you eat meals and stuff like that, too. When do you sleep? A lot of, a lot of great questions. Chandler, go ahead. I don't, I'm, <laughs> I was hearing you answer the question. How do you go about it, Daniel? Um, so sleep, it's, I, I'm not sure, so days to nights, so what do you mean by that? So, um. Like, you said days to nights are easy because you just stay up, but what do you do when it's nights to days? Yeah, that's a little rougher. Uh, like that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and, and everyone kind of does it differently. There's some people that just stay up. So they get off the night shift at like six in the morning and then they just stay, they don't go to sleep, they stay up. And then you're tired by nighttime. Mm. So you can get back that's, in the days. Other people, true. other people will go to sleep and wake up in like the afternoon and then just like gradually push it back forward. Mm. And then other people, I think what I've done, which works okay, is you take like a couple hour nap when you get home. Sure. And then you wake up and it, you're, it, the day, it, it, that first day is rough. Like you're going to be tired yeah. no matter what method you do. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't know the best way to do it. When you period. sleep all day and you work in the evening, do you have like regular meals throughout the, the night shifts? So, so the meals is the next question. Great question, Aria. Chandler, you should step up your question. Um, so the way I do it, I wake up in, like, the early afternoon when I work nights. Like, well, it depends. It ends up getting pushed back every day you work nights just because you get more tired. Because, like, the first day I'll wake up at, like, 11, and then by the end I'm waking up at, like, 1 or 2. Um, so then I eat breakfast then. And then I eat... Um, let's call it dinner right before I go to work, like at four or four thirty. Mm-hmm. And then you eat, let's call it lunch in the middle of work. Cause you gotta eat at some point when you're like in a 12 hour shift. You can't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, so that's how I do it. Some people will eat when they come home from a night shift. So like in the morning. Interesting. Some people go to sleep immediately. Other people stay up like a couple hours, then go to sleep when they get home. I feel like I would just collapse. Like, forget a schedule. Just when I'm tired, I go bed. Yeah. I mean, that's probably the best way to do it is when you get tired, you sleep. Okay. (laughs) That's really all it is. It's a true, natural... um, Schedule. Circadian um, rhythm? Yeah, sure. There's no rhythm. That <laughs> there's no rhythm. It's all, it's all, yeah. So, do you ever hang out with your, your plant buddies? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we, we do stuff all the time. Um, we're, pl- we're kind of planning a ski trip in a couple of mm-hmm. like months. Not sure. I'm not sure how what we'll do with that. We might do a, a Florida beach trip. Oh. It's also in the works. Right now, they might be competing against each other. Um, what do you want? Well, I pitched the beach trip because why would we want to stay cold when we could go to the beach in the in the middle of winter here? Like it's fair point. It already fair snows point. every day. Why would we want to go do more of that? Um, <laughs> And, uh, but, 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 you know, people, but my shift manager owns a bar, like, around the corner from the plant. Um, okay. So, we'll so you all hang out at the bar all the time? And it's like Cheers, if you've seen Cheers. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. Do they know your name? <laughs> it's where everybody knows your name. Um, <laughs> well, they, they, they honestly, it's gotten to the point where some of my co I don't go as often as, as uh, some of my other coworkers, but. Some of them will walk in and they'll like immediately hand them their the bartender will immediately hand them their drink. Love so it. It's, it's 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 where everybody knows your name. Yeah. Of course. Um so uh yeah, so but, and then in the summer we'll go on the lake. Um, okay. That's fun. Very nice. And um but the winter it's tough to do stuff just because it's cold. It's yeah. dark and cold and is there any drama? Is there any tea you need to share? Do you have any dirt on any of your coworkers? Like what kind of dirt? I don't know. 
I'm just trying to stir the pot of conversation, Daniel. I just... <laughs> this is no dirt. I think I, I think I've concluded uh, I, the, the explanation of, of my work. Thirty minutes later, we know everything about Daniel's schedule. They are hiring. <laughs> now you know what to call them, folks. They're they're hiring. If you're interested. Do they need a UX designer? Uh, an aerospace engineer. <laughs> You know, I can I could, take you for they'll take you for my job. You don't need a lot of requirement. There's not a lot that required. You just need like a college degree in something related to science. Hey, I could like redesign the way that you interact with the power plant. Well, uh, we do have like digital. These these are secrets, by the way, so you can't tell anyone this. But <laughs> there, we do. We, they have been upgrading a lot of our so like nuclear power plants. Most of the ones in this country were built in like the 80s or earlier, right? Sure. Well, yeah, most of them. And, they, and it shows, like, uh, yep. okay. a lot of the controls and everything are very, uh, let's say, let's call it analog. Yeah. Um, yeah. Very dated. Um, so they've been, like, slowly introducing um, a lot of digital control. Um, but um, a lot of that has been failing lately. So, so, this is the real news, guys, okay? Oh, the, boy. The government and the mainstream media and the, the woke liberals don't tell you about, okay? <laughs> no, there's been a lot of, like, uh, problems with um, digital feed water. So the feed water is what it, kind of what it sounds like. It's the water that you put into the core. Sure. Yeah, the actual put, pump it on. Um, so to do that, that's actually what actually maintains level in the reactor is, like, how much water are you putting in, which I think should make sense. Um, so to do that, we have level level controllers for our feed water system, and they've those are now digital. They're digitally controlled, but they're, they've are they been failing a lot lately. So we kind of need someone to redesign our digital feed water. That would be an Ariana thing. Mm, yeah. Sure. Totes. <laughs> That's the only thing. I mean, like, all we do have digital systems, but there's only a few. That's interesting. I mean, does does a digital system not make it easier to like hack? Um, I don't know if that's an okay question to ask. I'm just asking the hard things. <laughs> uh, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I guess, but like, yeah, who's hacking? No one has really ever hacked a nuclear power plant. Like, like, how many sure. are you going to gain from just melting down a random nuclear power plant? I don't know. Why does anyone hack anything? <laughs> it's true, Chandler. These these criminals. Um, the, I guess, but the, there's plenty of IT obstacles. Like, we can't even... Um, like, they're pretty restrictive on, like, what you can put on Wi-Fi and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So they're, they're, yeah. the IT is... Good. They There's got a <laughs> Well, thank you for telling us all about your job. <laughs> that was a lot. That was, that was too much. <laughs> Slowly but surely, we are going to reveal all of Daniel's personal information piece by piece through every podcast. Yeah, really. Yeah, what, are you going to have to cut some of this footage out of the podcast, Daniel? Probably, just because of, again, secrets. <laughs> I figured. Do we need to add more content for you in in place of that? Yeah, sure. Um, go ahead and provide uh, content. Okay. Um, what can I tell you about? I can like, tell you. I'm yeah, sorry, sure. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. You go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, I, if I did interrupt you, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, me and Dan and Richard and someone else who we will find eventually um, are planning a trip to Europe this mm-hmm. summer. Um, and I have been spending my weekends staring at flight websites and like booking to try to find like, what is the minimum amount of money that we can do this for? Where do you want to go? So right now the plan is to fly into Dublin and then make our way down and then fly back from Vienna. So well, if you okay. take a boat. 
What? If you catch a boat, that'd be a lot cheaper. You could take a cruise. I feel oh, I like just the meant, cruise like, would be more expensive. I just meant like a shipping boat, you know. <laughs> oh, just, oh, just like, just like. Just Madagascar it, you know. I guess I have been watching, have you seen all those videos about freight hopping? It's actually really fascinating. <laughs> anyway, unrelated. <laughs> um, so it's with Dublin, London, Paris, Stuttgart, Vienna. With like a couple like random day trips, and that that we're only like just now planning it, so that's probably going to change. But that's the general path, um, and hopefully we can do it for not that expensive. Uh, What's in Stuttgart that you guys want to see? I don't know. <laughs> I I planned the Dublin, London, Paris part. The Stuttgart is more Dan and Richard's area. Um, Richard's going to show us around Paris because he, A, knows French, and B, I don't know how much French he knows. I know he at least knows enough to, like, get by. Uh-huh. Um, and, he's, and he's been to Paris before, so he, like, knows where things are. Enough to get, like, made fun of by the par- Parisians, but not, like, absolutely insulted because you exactly. don't... Exactly. It, it's, it's, they will respond in English, but they will know what you have said. Right. <laughs> And then they'll try to like correct you on how you said it too. Just, just <laughs> the 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 worst amount of French to know. Because uh-huh. like if you don't know anything, then like you you I'm not embarrassed about it. It's like I don't. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm here for like two days. I'm not learning French. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I went to GTL, there was never anyone who was like, I don't know. There's never anyone who like seemed upset that I did not speak the language i mean we mostly went to like smaller cities so i think people were just like happy for the tourists the only time i ever experienced that was in paris yeah gtl was fine everyone was so sweet like they just were like yeah i don't know i don't know english sorry (laughs) and you just work then you just figure it out right but like in paris there were a couple times there was one time where i was at the train station and I was trying to put my backpack in a locker, um, and I was asking this guy who worked there where, like, the baggage area is, mm-hmm. and he was like, sorry, like, he was saying he doesn't speak English, and I was trying to, like, point at my backpack, and he was just like, sorry, and I was like, you know what, I'll figure it out, whatever. Well, yeah, the French word for baggage is bagage, I think, so... I think you could have figured it out. <laughs> um, He was just being a jackass. And then the other time was literally the day that I was flying back from GTL. Yeah. I was in Charles de Gaulle, and I was checking my luggage, and the lady was talking with me, and she was like, oh, you've been here for three months, like, you studied abroad, okay. And then she's like, you've been here for three months, and you didn't even bother to learn French. <laughs> and I was like... I mean, I went to an American school and mostly traveled outside of France. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm not, you think I'm just sitting here the whole time? Like, yeah. Like, I didn't really need to know French. Yeah. I wasn't interacting with that many French people. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, I, I, again, it's like, I don't know. I, it's just such a weird thing to, like, be all uppity about. It's like, aren't you... I mean, with Paris, I guess I get it, because I so many tourists go through Paris. Yeah. Like, I'm probably just fed up. But, like, anywhere else... I did have... I just remembered, I did have one person when I was at GTL. I was sitting at a bus stop. We were about to go into um, into town just for, like, just to, like, I don't know, some random weekend. Yeah. Um, And there was just this very... The, the lady just immediately seemed off kilter, and I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna get on the bus, and I'm gonna get on the bus." Um, and she asked me a question in French, and I was like, "I don't like." I just I was like, "I do not." I don't even remember the the parler français, whatever it is. I was just like, "I don't know French. I'm sorry." But then she just asked it again and again, and it was louder and like more aggressively, and I'm just like. I don't know. And then the bus came and then I left and then she was just, she like raised her fist at me as I left and I was like, okay. 
That's so weird. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think one time they told us it was something about how, like, French people, there's some association with, like, the class you are based on how well you speak. And so, like, how well you speak French. So they also associate that with, like, how well they speak other languages. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't want to speak English poorly because they're afraid of seeming, like, lower class. I don't know if that's true, but... So they just... I I understand, like, you don't want to, like, look stupid because you don't know how to speak things. I don't know. I guess I guess I kind of understand it, but I, I don't know. I don't know about the whole class thing. That seems weird. Yeah, I was like, okay, whatever. I mean, I took French when I was in GTL, but I mean that does not get you very far. I was French one for one. It's mostly just saying yeah. numbers to each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I always think like. It seems kind of uppity to have that mentality. Like, just try. Yeah, literally, like, I mean, I'm planning on, like, I'm going to learn, like, the five phrases for, like, the places we're going to go, which is only, I mean, you think Germany, France, and Austria. There's not a lot that I need to learn if I want to just, like, get by. You know what I mean? Because Dublin and London, obviously, that's... They speak okay. German in Austria, too, so... Yeah, so that's... We're good there. And most people kind of speak English, for the most part, in those places. That's that's another thing. We traveled to, like, so many different countries. Only once did we ever encounter a situation where someone spoke completely no English. Mm-hmm. It was resolved very easily. Right. Well, it sounds like it'll be a fun trip. It was, it, we got it. A lot of planning needs to happen, but it should be, <laughs> it should be why, good. Why is there a someone else that we haven't figured out yet? Well, so the person we were going to invite is Josh, but we don't know if he's going to be able to come or not, and he doesn't know if he's going to be able to come. So, like, at some point he will say yes or no, and then if he says no, we need to find someone else to come with us or just go with the three of us. Gotcha. It would be better if we can find one more person because then hotels are cheaper. Gotcha. Okay. Um, but we shall see. Fun. Um, and then what else is happening in my life? In me- pretty much immediately after that, like within a month, um, my boyfriend is going to move here. So that's pretty fun. Mm. Just like the, month, the month of May and June are just chaos. <laughs> like it's, it's like I, in my calendar, it's like do this. And then like my sister's graduating and my other sister has a wedding. Like it's a mess. Well, that's exciting. A lot of good things happening. A lot of good things. Just very busy. <laughs> what about you, Daniel? Other than your work schedule. Or you. you, are, where you talk, talk about your lives. Tell me everything. What's going on, Daniel? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'll I'll share. <laughs> Um, since Next. you just look like you really don't want to tell about your life. I, I don't have anything to tell. I, I really don't. Um, let's see. Since we last talked, I went to England for a research conference. That was fun. Um, spent two days. So it was, it was in Newcastle, which is like north of England, um, close to the shore. Uh, then... After the conference was over, I went to Edinburgh for, like, two days, which was really cool. I'd been there once before during study abroad, but that was during the summer, and this was during the winter. It was very different. It was very cold. It snowed, um, which is not typical, I guess, for, like, December there. Um, It was very wet. I wasn't dressed properly because, like, I was trying to look good for the conference and look professional, and so I didn't really bundle up, (laughs) Um, which caused me to get a bit of a cold, but, you know, I survived. Yeah. Um, I went home for the break, 
and break was not super fun. Um, it was it was fine, but yeah, that's fair. My uh my sister had to have surgery, um, so it was a lot of like medical things and taking care of her, which like it's not her fault at all, but you know it just didn't end up being a super fun break. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we threw a surprise birthday party for my father. He turned 60. Mm. Um, we tried to get him out of the house by getting my sister to go with him to go Christmas shopping. Um, and they, they were kind of out shopping like all day because we had to like get ready for the party Mm. and keep him out of the house. And, we were worried that he was going to want to like come back home at some point. Yeah. So she kept saying like, no, we need to do more shopping. <laughs> and then she told him that we were going to go see avatar too, um, mm. at a certain time. And so that's when we needed to, they needed to be back home. Um, and so he gets there and he's like completely shocked and like happy to see everyone. But then he's like, are we still going to Avatar? <laughs> <laughs> I want to go see Avatar. <laughs> yeah, he was like, are we all going to go see Avatar? <laughs> and we were like, no, Dad. <laughs> this is a party for you. We're staying here. <laughs> did y'all eventually go see Avatar? Yeah, we did. Okay, we did. good. <laughs> <laughs> he really wanted to see Avatar. <laughs> um... So, yeah, my uncle, I don't know if this was announced on the last podcast. Probably not. My uncle had a baby. Um, I mean, my uncle's wife had a baby, but, you know, they had a child. Um, and he's adorable. His name is Milan. Um, he's now three months old. He's very cute. It's the first time I've interacted with a baby probably since my sister was born. <laughs> Um, so that's fun. Started school up again last week. Super exciting. Um, oh, I can tell you all about how I got roasted by my professor. Um, so first day of class, I'm taking a class on ubiquitous computing. And first day of class, this man notices me and my smartwatch, my Apple watch, and he says, oh, you have a smartwatch. What do you use it for? And I was like, I track my activity, you know, like a Fitbit. And he said, oh, okay, well, how many steps do you have? And keep in mind, this is like 930 in the morning. Like, I'd just driven my car to school, walked over to the classroom and sat down. So I was like, oh, I just started my day. So not that many. But I looked at it. I said like 705. And he was like, I have 10,000. <laughs> <laughs> what is the point of this? And I was like, okay. Congratulations. Damn. Um, this man's like an insane cyclist. Like he goes on like really long bike rides all the time. Um, probably bikes to work, if I'm being honest. Probably. So I'll never be able to beat him. But he did again. Like the whole rest of the class, he was like continued to you know, pick on me and my smartwatch. And at some point he was like, look, I'm even at 11,000 now just from walking back and forth during class. <laughs> and I was like, okay, dude. <laughs> and, then, and then the next class, he starts off class by saying, how many steps do you have? And I was like, don't even ask me that. It's worse than last time. Just don't answer the question. Or just buy. <laughs> Just say 10,000. Yeah, I got about 15,000. <laughs> yeah. All right, I, I have another question. What What is ubiquitous computing? Um, It basically means computing that is everywhere and, like, all around you, in, ingrained in your life. Um, I think It's about laptops. Okay. It can, it it's pretty much everything. Take laptops. But, like... Not really. Lap. He would argue that maybe not even laptops because no, it's laptops. It's computers you take everywhere. You go to your laptop. You're you're not walking around with your laptop. 
So it's like it's like smartphones. Like you always have a smartphone on. You. Right. Like you you can definitely argue that a laptop is ubiquitous computing because like you you can take it anywhere. Yeah. Um, but also like a smartwatch is even more ubiquitous computing because you don't even notice it's there half the time, but you're just like living with it. Yeah. So yeah. It's fun stuff. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. Um I'm doing jazz combo this semester. Kind of wild. Very cool. Is Never done it. Before. Um, wild. Should be interesting. I might get a PhD. Um, so sure. <laughs> catch me being at Georgia Tech maybe for a really long time. Ever going to leave? I mean, Jesus, just move on already. <laughs> the, I will say I would have gotten a master's if I was in state. I don't. I, I definitely would have gotten a PhD, but I would have gotten a master's if I was in state. But I was like, I am paying so much tuition. I got to get out of here. <laughs> well, if you – the only reason I'm doing it, the master's at least, is because with a TA position, I only pay like – the fees because mm-hmm. they they give you a waiver on your tuition and then you get like a monthly stipend of like a thousand dollars which is not a whole lot but you know it's, it's something, it's something. <laughs> nice you're flooded in cash yeah i'm just drowning in money you know <laughs> making about $12,000 a year. <laughs> Wild. Balling out over here. <laughs> all right, let's stop bragging about this. Okay? We, yeah, we can't all afford wooden snakes like Chandler. <laughs> <laughs> it was a gift. I did not buy these. Do you think I would buy myself 30 wooden snakes? <laughs> I would, but I didn't. You would? I would. I have bought my, you know, like the worm on string? I've bought myself a bunch of those before. Why? Uh, they're just fun to have. I, I use them for many things, mostly to annoy uh, my parents' cats, and I hung them over my uh, my mirror, but they always got so tangled. It just became just a tangled mess. And every time I were to come in, it's like, what is that? And I'm like, it's the worms. Don't ask questions. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Daniel we did... One more piece of content before before we end the podcast. Yeah. All right. I can talk about this thing. I am slowly learning to crochet because I need ways to fill my time. No way. I have made this little ad. Of course, the audio listeners will not see. Oh, you are you too? That's so cute. You're way further in progress than I am. I've been practicing the basic stitch. Oh, yeah. That's about all I've done. <laughs> well, so so I got one of those Woobles kits. That's what the, that's what the main guy is. Yeah, yeah. Um, if, you don't, if you don't know what that is, listeners, it's like like 30 bucks, I think, and you get like a little kit and a bunch of really good videos online. Um, I mean, I, I did, like, the main guy probably in, like, four or five nights worth of effort. I mean, it was, like, a few hours a night. Like, I wasn't just, like, doing it for 30 minutes and then doing something. Oh. Like, I, it is probably longer if you only do it a short time a night. Um, but I was like, yeah, I, I, like, got this. And then I got, like, normal yarn, and I was like, oh, this is, like, way more fiddly. It's so much harder when you have like, like real yarn. Like the yarn they use for uh, the the kit was it was like so much bigger. Um, so. Oh, interesting. The yarn. That's why I've been playing with sewing needles the whole time. The yarn that this little packet has that's a, is a peacock. Mm-hmm. It's pretty small. Mmm. Oh. So my mom, my mom's like a very, oh, I'll show you. 
my mom is like a very good crocheter. Yeah. Um, and she, oh god, oh god, okay. She made me this blanket, um, during whenever we were like basically in lockdown. Yeah. Um, it's really big, but this is what it looks like. Oh, nice. Um, and it sits on my bed. And so she was teaching me how to crochet and gave me some extra yarn to work with. Very nice. But I'm also, I'm left-handed, so I feel like... Oh, yeah, that means everything's backwards. Yeah. It makes things more complicated. But at some point, I'll figure it out. Yeah. I believe in you. Thank you. Daniel, I gotta say, sometimes it's like we're having a conversation, and then I just see you in the corner just ominously staring at your screen, just observing... (laughs) <laughs> it's very odd sometimes. I don't want to interrupt, you know. Can't inter- I can't interrupt uh, quality content or whatever, whatever you guys are. Doing. I think it's quality content. Yeah, you don't think our conversation is quality content? It is. It is. It is. It's, it's <laughs> big rate, big ratings hike. It's good. Good. I hope you get a lot of viewers. Yeah. Listen. You, have you ever gotten like revenue from like the number of streams you get on YouTube or Spotify or whatever? We don't get it from YouTube. We get it from everything else. Okay. So the audio, the audio stuff. So you make money off of these? How much? How much? How much are you bringing in? Uh, it's considerable money. <laughs> what are we talking? Like millions. It's well. I'll just tell you. It's one cent per listen. Every <laughs> time someone downloads or whatever, you get one. I get one cent. My guess is that you have not made more than five dollars total. <laughs> no, we made more than that. But we also didn't train. We didn't start ads until like after a year and a half of doing this. So okay. that's the other thing. Sponsor. So you make money off those ads too. Yeah, it's the same ad every time. It's just the anchor ad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, which I, I'm sure you guys have heard. Of course. Because I, I have heard the anchor. Listener. Well, if you've listened to any episode, <laughs> the beginning, it's always at the beginning. You I have. have. The it's same just... one. Maybe we'll record a new word. We, are, we, ha- we do have a new theme song. Mm. Um, I haven't actually heard the new theme song. So you can you can listen to an episode in here. Well, we'll be on this one too, um, or you can go back and listen to another one. Um, I don't remember what last week's episode was. I don't even remember, I don't remember who it was on. Well, have you had on the podcast recently? Yeah, let's see. I gotta pull it up. Platforms. Um. Oh, it was Noah and Chase. Mm. No. And Chase, I haven't talked to Chase in, like, forever. Chase, the previous week was Elizabeth. Before that was was uh, the Christmas one, which you guys did not want to join. That was just t- just Tanner and me. <laughs> Let me say uh, we killed it. Mm-hmm. Before that was Alex and John Roberts. Before that was a news. Yeah. For that, Tanner and Noah. Sure, that was that. For that was Chase and Chandler. Yep. Uh, I think we're caught up. We mostly just talked about therapy. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I guess I guess that was yeah. Do you do these every week? Is that how often you do them? It's every week. Okay. I was asking. I, I have a, I have a question, Daniel. I remember way back long ago, you categorized this as a comedy podcast. It's technically it's still categorized as comedy. My my what? Because how, I'm hilarious. How the oh. transition from like we are actively trying to be funny to this is just Chandler and Ariana talking. <laughs> um. Yeah, Chandler and Ariana talking about yarn is different than. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's quality comedy. I'm not. I'm not uh, saying it's not content. I don't know if it's comedy. Our lives are funny, apparently. 
Um, I don't know what else I can categorize it as. Um, it's it, like, reality. It, it, yeah, reality. Really. It's, it's reality content. Yeah. It's like the just talking category on Twitch. It's like, it's just people talking. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. We could probably change that. But it's just easier to not change it. It's, I don't think it's even in a cat. I'd, I'd have to look at my internals, but I'm not even sure there, it is a category. If you guys, does it say it like on Spotify? I don't even know. I can, I can pull it up on Spotify. I can't remember where I saw this. But someone was advertising that they needed participants for some project that they're doing to just, like, record themselves talking, like, having a conversation. Yeah. Send it in for, like, research. And you should just send all your podcasts. <laughs> Here's 234 episodes. Yeah, episodes of people talking. People it's talking. a formal conversation. <laughs> it hmm. is uh, a comedy. According to Spotify. Also, it has no rating. Hold on. Let me rate the show. Go I'm ahead. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> on Spotify? Yeah. Uh, yeah the so. experience. The problem is it always pulls up the Joe Rogan experience first. <laughs> you have to, like, dig for it. No rating. Listen to the show first. But I don't listen on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you listen to Spotify? You just have to click on it, I think, right? That's all it I'll means. click Traveling and Quitting, the latest one. The latest one. Okay, now, rating. Ugh, it's still not letting me do it. Okay, just, keep, me... just keep listening to the show. That's got to help it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to give you a five-star rating. There we all go. Right, we're going to end the episode while these two uh, figure out how do you scroll? I'm, I'm scrolling back to like the old. Five stars. Um, all of our listeners can also rate on whatever platform you want. Um, I think I forget. I have I have the data. I have the data on what people listen on, but I haven't checked it in a little while. But it's a good mix. So I've, I've been listen. around on the podcast for a while. I, I mean, the first one I was on was Experience Podcast number twenty-one. That's pretty That's early. Oldie. Yeah. I think my first one was with Blake. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember when that was. Or Jonathan. No. I think it was Blake. Because that was the one where he said he doesn't sneeze. Yeah. Oh, God. That was the episode where I had a hickey and we, like, talked about it. The name of oh, the yeah. episode was Why Do People Get Hickeys? <laughs> I gotta know which number I'm on. It's... I don't know. Uh, okay. Any Anything else... Do we need to mention on your your? I don't have any more quality content for you. We, we, we're all out. We're, 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 you got to wait a few weeks for us to have some more content. Yeah. 